How are you? Uh, my name is uh, Prophet Benjamin Cherry. I'm the founder of Eagles Vision Gathering International. I'm here to share the word of God with you. And uh, I believe you are blessed today. You are blessed in the presence of God. You are wonderful people. Thank you so much for giving me your time to share the word of God. And the word of today is coming from the book of John. First, before I take John, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 11. The Bible says, if you check in this scripture, the Bible says, Jesus confirmed that John, among the people born by the women, nobody is greater than John the Baptist. Let us look about this word, great. John was born great. John was born to be great. Yes, same as you are born to be great in this world, you are born to manifest the glory of God. According to God's desire, he created a man, a man to show his greatness in this world, a man to shine. It means a man should be the light. Now, understand that John was born to be great. Jesus confirmed to say, among the people born by the women, <laughs> Among the people born by the woman, nobody is greater. It means even Abraham was born by the woman. Jesus himself was born by the woman. And Jesus said, among the people born by the women, nobody is greater than John the Baptist. So when we look at the life of John who was born to be great, one day the same man was born to be great, he found himself in prison, arrested by the king called Herod, King Herod. Arrested, you know the story very well from the Bible. The Bible says John was arrested in prison. Allow me to give you the scripture. Maybe you are interested to know the scripture. Uh, when you check in the book of Luke chapter 7 verse 18 up to 22, the Bible talks about how John was arrested. John was in prison. And the Bible says he found himself into the hard situation. John began to, because of persecution, he found that he's in prison and he wants the answer in that particular moment. You know, when somebody is in prison, the mind becomes frustrated. Everything around John becomes sour. And he sent the disciples, his disciples, to say, Go and ask Jesus, are you the one who is coming for another? Now, it means John wanted a solution in that moment. John wanted the answer. He sent disciples to go and ask, are you the one? Or can we wait for another? In other words, John was doubting if he's still the same Jesus, he baptized or not. In other words, John was still waiting because of the situation. He began to question his faith. He said, are you the one? Or can we wait for another? And the disciples went to ask Jesus. And the Bible says when they reached to Jesus, they found Jesus was so busy with the work of God. And Jesus answered, Jesus never said I'm the one or not. He said, go and tell John. The lame can walk. The blind can see. It means, I'm not, I don't have another answer to give John. I'm not Jesus. Or I, I, I'm not Jesus. Or I am not. <laughs> it means I'm not going to tell John, believe in me or not. If you are the one who baptized me, you have to understand who I am. John, the time he baptized Jesus, he said, there, there's a man who is coming after me, who is greater, <laughs> who is greater, who is greater than me. John also confirmed the greatness of Jesus. And Jesus also said, among the people, Born by the women, nobody has ever been greater than John the Baptist. Children of God. You know, if you understand this scripture, Jesus is confirming the greatness of John. And John also is confirming the greatness of Jesus. So meaning, these two people were born to be great, to shine in this world. Now, because of situation, because of being in prison, John began to doubt his faith, began to doubt the same Jesus. He said, are you the one? Or can we wait for another? And the disciples came and found Jesus doing miracles. 
And the Bible says when they came to Jesus, they said, John has sent us. Are you still the same Jesus or another? And Jesus said, go and tell John, the, the lamb are still walking. Miracles are happening. It means don't doubt me or don't believe in me. It's up to you. Now, listen. It means John, when Jesus looked at the life of John, John was not supposed to call Jesus. John was not supposed to send disciples to come and doubt Jesus, say, are you the one or not? John was supposed to deliver himself. John was born to be great. John was born to be a deliverer. John was born to do signs and wonders. John was born to manifest the glory of God around the world. John was God in the it was created in the image of God. John was not born to doubt Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, some of you, as you are watching right now, because of the situation, I can see you are doubting Jesus. Sometimes you are asking, what well, if Jesus is alive? If this God, they, every time they talk about God, they talk about, where is God in my situation? Let me tell you that John was in prison. What you are doing right now, you are sent to John. Why are you doubting? Let me open your mind. And my message of today, I'm talking about the seed of greatness is in you. You were born to be great. You, yes. I'm talking to you. You were born to be great. You were not born to follow people behind. You were born to manifest the hand of God around the world. You were born as a light. That's why Jesus said in the book of Matthew to say, you are the light of the world. Today, I prophesy upon you, you are not going to be a donkey follower. <laughs> you are not going to be the way you, you see yourself. Begin to see how God sees you. You are greater, more than you think. You can do it, my brother. You can do it, my sister, my mother and my father. You can do it. Just arise. You are more than that temptation. You are more than what you think. You were born to be great. Don't doubt God because of the situation. Understand, John was born to be great. And the Bible says when he was in the prison, he was doubting. That's why Jesus said, go and tell him, the blind can still see, the, the lame are walking, miracles are still happening. John, you are wasting your time to doubt about me. You have to rise, John, out of that prison. That prison is too small for you. That situation you are going through is too small for you, my sister. Don't commute, don't commit suicide. You are more than what you think. My brother, that problem, even if they never accepted your Letter, the, the, the application letter. Let me tell you, you are more than that. You can do better than what people can do. You are not the lesser, you are great, you are a mighty man to use in the time of battle. You are a servant of God, you are the priest of God, a rise man of God. It is time to manifest the glory of God. It is time to manifest the power of God. Arise, don't doubt yourself. John, the Bible says in the book of John, he said John, that there was a man sent by God by the name of John. He came to witness the light. This is the great mistake John did to witness only light. You are not there to witness light. Be the light of the world. That's why John died premature death because he was not light. He was just a witness of light. I prophesy this year you are going to move in the light of God. I say, um, uh, uh, your situation is not going to swallow you. That problem is not going to take you up. You are going to see the hand of God manifest, arise. You are the light. Sister, you are the light of the world. Brother, you are the light of the world. You can shine in that community. Yet your church must shine, man of God. Because you are the light. You are not only the witness of light. What killed John? I came to understand that John was only the witness of light. But he was not light. I say my name is Prophet Benjamin Cherry. I'm the founder of Eagles Vision Gathering International, based in Sulawesi, Northwestern Province. Uh, if you want to meet us, you can come and our church is alongside Zambia Road, behind Trade Skills. You can ask Eagles Vision Gathering International. It's a ministry. 
where God is doing wonders. We can see the light this year, the lamb can walk, the blind can see, and you can be part of us every Sunday. We meet around 14 hours. Eagles Vision Gathering International, our number is 0979-056624. 0979-056624. Shalom, shalom.